Hi, I'm Josh Weldon, and I wanted to walk you through uh, TIG torch assembly and why it matters to your performance as a TIG welder. So right now I have the parts for a TIG torch in front of me. I've got the torch, the body, um, basically where the power and the gas comes through. I've got the backing cap. I've got the collet, which has a little slit in each side so that when it tightens down, it grips around the tungsten. The collet body, which has these two, or excuse me, these four holes in them where the gas comes out of, basically the collet goes into the collet body and when it's all, everything's assembled, this puts pressure on the tungsten and keeps it from moving. And then we have the cup. So to put it together, the first thing I'm gonna do is put the collet and collet body in. Make sure that uh, you know that that's gonna slip out. So you hold it so that it doesn't. Let's put the cup on. Now I'll loosely put the backing cap on. Put the tungsten in, and then you can tighten it wherever you want. Obviously that's too far, but just showing you, you tighten the backing cap, and that tungsten is gonna stay where you want it. Now, where mistakes happen is if something gets put together the wrong way. So let's say, let's take this part again. Let's say you put the backing cap on first and you're just like, all right, I'm just gonna screw this in, leave it loose, but maybe you go a little bit too far. Now you go to put this in and what's gonna happen is possibly this is gonna bump up against the backing cap. So it's not gonna tighten all the way. So then you put it all together and you're like, all right, cool. And get this where I want it and tighten it down. And it might seem tight at first, but the problem is as it heats up, it's gonna start moving around because this isn't tight. It gives you an artificial like Basically, I'm so shaky. So basically the tighter I have this, let's, let's do a little example here. So I tighten that up. It's like, oh cool, that's, that's tight, right? Nope, it can go in farther. Nope, it can go in farther. So you wanna make sure you have this thing all the way loose. The backing cap needs to be all the way loose or you might get a false sense of the collet body being tight. That's the main thing I want to get through this part is what will happen then is, so let's do that again where you don't realize it. And this is a really common thing. It's really easy to, to forget about, but just like, all right, I got that loose. It's good. Tighten that up. Oh, it can go farther. It can go farther. Now you got it all the way tight. Now you're good to go. So you just want to make sure that this is nice and loose while this is all the way tightened up. You wanna make sure that collet body is firm, tight, and that this is still loose. Now you can put your cup on, pull that out where you want it, tighten it up, and you're good to go. And it's the same concept. So that's a traditional collet and collet body. This torch, the difference is it has a gas lens. But other than that, it's basically the same thing. So you've got the cup, you've got the lens. But see how this, I do a lot of classes, so sometimes these get twisted. See how this gets twisted? That's not good. Eventually it wears out the collet and it just doesn't tighten this anymore. So as the torch heats up, the tungsten starts sliding and it can slide right into the puddle, which is not ideal. So when you see a collet get twist it up like that, it's time to replace it. So now I'm gonna replace this twisted one with a new one. Eventually the heat just colors it, which isn't the biggest deal, but it's that twist that you don't want. So we've got a new one, fresh, nice and straight. So it's basically the same thing. Now I'm gonna make sure the backing cap is loose. This is a gas lens. So rather than the collet body, which I showed you earlier, where the gas comes out of these holes, but instead comes out the lens. And what that does is it gives you a smoother 
gas flow. Um, so you can either stick your tungsten out farther and still get coverage. You can turn the gas down to use last gas because it's just a much more efficient way of supplying the gas. But the assembly, as far as the torch goes, is basically the same. So I'm gonna take collet, and this time I have a gas lens instead of a collet body, but it acts basically the same. You wanna make sure that this is all the way tight and this still can move. If you've got this to where is, this is tight and this is tight, you, you're gonna have to readjust. So loosen this back up and then keep going with the gas lens. So now you got this tight, this loose. Put the cup on there. Now that tungsten is tight exactly where you want it. It's pretty much the same thing and it seems simple and it is simple, but it's one of those things you kind of got to drill in your head that it is important um, because it's something that uh, if you let it slip, uh, it'll, it'll cause problems for you. So it, I feel like it's nice to know why we do things and it makes it easier to remember to do those things because then you remember why it's important. So this is kind of a simple thing but it's something that'll, that'll alleviate some headaches for you down the road. So hopefully that's, that's helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. That's, uh, that's pretty much it.